The fine forks from my own sent us this chopper with a whole bunch of new features. Let's check it out. Welcome to Base the World. My name is Keiko Fries, and on base we have my buddy Ilya John Lepin today. We've reviewed a good number of my own jumper bases over the years. They offer a wide range, some more old school, some more modern. Today it's a bit of both. On one side it's aged, which is a new thing for my own. On the other hand, we have things like 24 threads, noiseless pickups, and an active 3 1 DQ. In recent years, Mayons have developed their own pickups called Wealthdrawn. In here we have their new Gallant 4-string set, which sounds like beautiful old pickups, but they are completely noiseless. And this is especially important if you want to combine them with an active preamp. These pickups produce a stunning tone. To me they seem a bit overwound, which leads to a nice fat P-Bass-like neck pickup sound and a bridge pickup that sounds a lot more solid than we know it from more traditional basses of this category. Here's a beautiful example featuring the pickup at the bridge. And the guys from Mayons also pointed out how well these pickups interact with distortion sounds a la Dark Glass. So let's try it out as well. <laughs> Now let's have a look at the specs. This particular jabba comes with a swamp ash body finished in vintage white and then aged to a really nice standard. I know a thing or two about these finishes and for being a complete newbie at this, they've done a remarkable job. The maple neck is bolted on with six screws and the step transition here is super comfortable and a dream to look at. The fretboard is made from Pau Ferro and comes with 24 frets, a binding and block and lace plus clone the dark lumen lace on the side. The neck is reinforced by two graphite rods and the access to the truss rod is from the side of the body. The Wealthdrawn pickups are combined with my own Musashi preamp. We have controls for volume, pickup balance, active bases in high stacked, mids and finally a passive tone control. And of course you can also use the entire bass passive by using this switch here. Mayon's Bigfoot bridge design provides traditional simplicity for the sound, but nice little adjustments for a better user experience. The little bar at the end is great for palm muting techniques and you don't have to pull the entire strings through the bridge anymore when you're changing your set of strings. And of course, we also have hipshot ultralight tuners. So what else do we have? We have a 20 inch modern uh, fretboard radius and of course we have a matching headstock. <laughs> Mayon seems to be transitioning to use more of their own parts, which makes a lot of sense. Some might be disappointed not to see their favorite name brand pickups here anymore, but does it change the value of these bases? No. I think the opposite is the case. You can still get your Nordstrand or Aguilar pickups as custom options, but everything Mayons make themselves turns out to be solid as hell, which is a famously solid place. Just look at this string retainer, retaining all the strings. Or look at this bridge, it's beautiful, it's great sounding and it's functional. They've been using their own preamps for a while and now follow the pickups. Of course we've only tried this one set, but to me it already sounds very promising. I can't wait to hear more of their new creations. This is a lovely bass. I love the sounds, I love the look and I love how it feels. Very well done, my own. That's it from me. Here's another video, here's a merch shop and here's me saying Dovizenia. Yeah.